right, so this is the beginning of our berry, berry granola. I have some nice uh, sun-dried apricots that just came in, and we're gonna put them in the pot. A cup and a half, two cups maybe. Probably more like a cup and a half. A couple cups of apple juice in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simmer this until they are nice and soft so that we can take them to the blender. Okay, so I got my apricots that are here nice and soft. I'm going to add some uh, vanilla extract, a good amount since we're making about 12 quarts of, um, of granola. I'm gonna add a couple more cups of uh, apple juice to it. And this is just so that we can make a nice, nice puree. We need more juice because the dry food uh, ends up being quite thick. Okay, so there it is. You see, you know, we're talking like a uh, syrup kind of a thing, uh, which we're gonna use for our granola. This is what it looks like. I'm getting ready to assemble our granola here. I have my rolled oats. And down here, you'll see I have um, strawberries which I slice nice and thin I have some blueberries and we also have these um, white chip coconut flakes to this we're gonna add some raspberries as well all right so it's a sort of a triple berry uh, granola going on and now I have my uh, syrup here that I made with the uh, dried apricots that all goes in there which has also got the uh, vanilla extract. And then I have some uh, pineapple juice here, which I'm gonna use to uh, make sure I get all of that syrup. Okay, so that goes in there. And now the rest of the pineapple juice goes in. Three quarts of that. We spread it all out. One more. Okay. And now that all the ingredients are in there, it's a matter of getting down and dirty and making sure every flake of oat absorbs some of the liquid. So we end up with these uh, sort of uh, oatmeal kind of thing. Uh, but it's raw So as you can see it requires getting all the way down underneath and mixing it all up Any pockets of dried oats have to get brought up and mixed around and then as well <clears throat> also and then also we want to make sure that all the uh, berries and the coconut are mixed all the way throughout. This can get a little bit messy. Um, so just, you know, be aware of the fact that as you mix, you have all these oats and berries sort of going all over the place. Uh, it just requires a little bit of patience and being careful. And, you know, if a little bit spills over the side, then, you know, no big deal. As long as you don't spill half of your container uh, which luckily it has never happened to me okay so now that feels pretty good so as you can see I have this sort of a uh, wet sort of oats uh, with the berries all mixed in there uh, I don't feel any dryness you know I, I mixed it up pretty good okay so now from here uh, it goes onto the trace Okay, so we have our trays here, which uh, might look a bit dirty to you, uh, but what happened was uh, this is our second batch of the day. So we go ahead and get some of that raw granola here. And then I'll probably build much. So at this point, it's just a matter of spreading it out as much as possible uh, so that it covers the whole bottom of the pan and then with my fingers what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sort of 
quote unquote poke holes into the whole thing. And what's gonna happen is this is going to help me, uh, or it's gonna help the heat from the oven get into the granola. So I'm basically I'm increasing the, uh, the surface of this uh, so that more heat can get in there. So this will give us about four trays uh, and then we're gonna get them in the oven. 200 degrees. If you do any more than that, what'll happen is the fruit will start burning. So 200 degrees. It'll take about three and a half hours uh, and we have to rotate them multiple times and you'll see that in a bit. Okay, so I'm pulling the granola out for the first uh, stir, the first flip. And so you'll see that uh, it's starting to dry up. So what I do is I get this nice uh, metal spatula in there and get underneath, make sure it all comes off. And essentially, I'm just trying to break it up. If you end up with this large pieces, what happens is um, it'll be nice and crunchy on the outside, but on the inside, it'll still be chewy. And chewy granola just doesn't do it for me. You know, granola is meant to be nice and crunchy. So I got my four trays that I'm gonna bring out. And it's sort of like, you know, break it apart and, you know, sort of either with a, glove it's not actually so hot that you wouldn't be able to touch it um, I just I kind of like using this guy here so it's just again all a matter of breaking it up as many times as you need to it's been in the oven now for about 45 minutes uh, and I'm gonna repeat this process probably another three or four times so after I break it all up it goes back in the oven Okay, so we are ready to do our second turn here. The granola has been in the oven now for about an hour and a half. And now, again, it's just about breaking this up as much as possible so that every bit of the granola is nice and crunchy when it's all said and done. Okay, so the granola has been in the oven for three plus hours, probably about three hours and 20. Uh, I can feel it now, it's all nice and crunchy. Uh, and for the berry one, one of my uh, tell signs is I look at the blueberries here, which it's hard to see against. All right, so our granola is finished here. Um, I can feel that everything is nice and crunchy. If I look at the blueberries here, they are completely dried up. So that's a good sign. And so all there's left to do is perhaps enjoy a nice bowl of fruit with a few crunchies over the top. Uh, and that's about it. So I hope you get a chance to make this and enjoy it because it's actually quite delicious.